Real world assets are exploding. $8 billion cillion boom. Hey guys, Andrew here. Today we're diving into some exciting updates in the world of real world assets, whereas in blockchain. Hold on tight because the numbers are about to blow your mind. Brace yourself for some jaw dropping stats. The total value locked TVL in ROAS has skyrocketed to a staggering $8 billion. That's a mind boggling 700% increase since the start of the year. So, what's driving this explosive growth? Well, the magic lies in protocols that are expanding the horizons of tokenizable assets. Forget the days of just tokenizing stablecoins like USDC and USDT. Now, we're talking about real world assets like gold, real estate, and even carbon credits. The possibilities are limitless. RWA protocols come in different flavors, offering exposure to interest rates or price movements of non-interest bearing assets. And get this, they're further categorized into debt or equity investments. Each one comes with its own unique risk and return profile, just like in the good old days of traditional finance. But here's the kicker. The DeFi community is all about stable and juicy returns. That's why debt instruments are the rock stars of the show with their lower volatility and predictable yield generation. It's like having your cake and eating it too, in the world of crypto. The number of active users on RWA protocols has also shot up like a rocket. Platforms like Toucan, Clima, DAO, and Propy are bringing real-world assets to the masses. It's like the wild west of digital finance, with everyone rushing to stake their claim. And let's not forget about yield-bearing assets. They're the new darlings of the RWA world bridging the gap between off-chain yields and on-chain users. Protocols like MacerDAO, Ondo, and Mountain Protocol are leading the charge, stabilizing the yield-bearing stablecoin market. But here's the T. The market is clearly biased towards assets that pay you back. Non-yield-bearing assets like tokenized gold and real estate are still struggling to gain traction. It's like people are saying, why bother with something that doesn't make me money? Institutional players like BlackRock and Franklin Templeton are also jumping on the RWA bandwagon. They're launching tokenized treasury funds and setting the stage for the integration of traditional financial assets with blockchain technology. It's like a handshake between the old guard and the new kids on the block. So, what does the future hold for Ruz? Well, my crystal ball tells me that the sector is set to keep on growing as it connects the dots between conventional asset markets and the digital finance world. It's like a win-win situation, where traditional finance gets a modern makeover and crypto enthusiasts get their hands on real-world assets. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome to the Bitspools community. Hit that subscribe button and smash that like button to show some love. Let's keep this conversation going. Let me know what you think about ROS and the future of blockchain technology. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.